World of Wonder Shorts 3 Buttons Part 2 Let's discuss the buttons on the left and right of the main editing page. Free Editing Button Entering Free Editing Mode removes your character and allows you to pull back the camera further. Not only can you move around faster, but you'll also be able to view a larger portion of the map at once. The slider in the bottom right corner controls the camera height, which lets you expand or shrink the viewable area. Tap the top down view button to enter a bird's eye view. See how your creation looks from above with an even wider perspective. Tap the rotate button while in top down view to rotate the map by 90 degrees. Learn how to use free editing mode to better plan out your creation's layout. Those interested in designing their own levels can use free editing mode to get a good look at their level when they're done. It will help with spotting what still needs adjusting. Area Grid Button Set up an area grid with an object as its center. It lets you align and place objects more precisely. Select Button allows you to edit multiple objects as a grouped object. You'll be able to quickly move, place, copy and more. Grouped object editing allows you to tap to select or drag to select. The bottom right corner of the editing page also has a fly button. Tap the fly button and your character will begin hovering using its jetpack. In this state, the up and down buttons let you control your altitude. Get higher to see and edit more. Tap the fly button again to stop flying. There are two more useful buttons in the top right. One lets you check the creation's performance load and the other is for object management. Object management. This lets you quickly manage all placed objects. You can quickly delete them or go to an object's location. This way, we can easily find objects or buildings without any hassle as well as restore any objects that were previously deleted. Oh. Maps Performance Load It stays as a mini-map when you don't tap it. The mini-map shows the direction your character is facing, as well as your creation's current performance load. Tap it to show the full map. You'll be able to view the map in closer detail, as well as place a mark anywhere, including at your character's location. Of course, you can remove any unwanted marks too. Furthermore, some more detailed performance load can be found at the bottom of the map. Green means the performance load is low and all mobile devices can run the creation smoothly. Yellow means medium performance load and the mid-range device is needed to run the creation smoothly. Red means that performance load is high and most players will not have a device that can run the creation smoothly. All this will help with reaching a reasonable performance load to ensure smooth gameplay. So that's it for the button introduction of the World of Wonder editor. Get to grips with them all and you'll be busting out World of Wonder creations in no time. Try it out now.